we are at ISSA Show North America 2024, and as we walk the halls and look at all the great tools and products and innovations, I came across a fellow named Tom McArdle with Airbotics. Tom, good to meet you. Always. Tell us about yourself and your company. Uh, this, you have a solution that maybe we've not seen before, because I don't know if I've seen you at ISSA Show. Correct, correct. So we've got a big history with the disaster restoration industry, very tough industry. We love it, what they do. And it's our first year branching off into ISSA. The show's amazing. Uh, and we see a lot of need for this type of product. We're the original equipment manufacturer of the Airbotics line of equipment, warehouse out of Indiana, everything proudly assembled in the USA. And uh, this, like I said, first year, and it's, uh, it's been a great experience. What people are not seeing yet is what we're talking about, yeah. which is your innovation. Um, and I do want to preface this with something, some news that came out recently. Talk about that. Before we show the equipment, what did you win here at ISSA Show? So they have a whole section and category for the innovative products of the year. And they have different categories for it. We were in the facility care section. Uh, they, they had several awesome companies and they announced the winner yesterday. And I know our product's pretty good, but I didn't know if they saw it. So I was a little surprised, but we actually won that. Uh, so we got the award for the uh, innovative product of the year in that facility care uh, section. Super happy about that. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, your first time here and you win an award? I know, right? I know Pretty what good. you're doing next year. It's a you're good coming start. back. It's a good start. Right. <laughs> let's, let's look at what you've got. Sure. So what we're gonna do now is take a look at Airbotics. Tom, tell us about it. Yeah, so what we did is we've always said that hydroxyl generators to eliminate odors, super awesome. Scrubbers with the HEPA filtration to capture particulates, amazing. They're great teammates. And the idea behind this is we put them together as one package that does both. So the intake side, you've got Mervate pre-filter, two inch HEPA filter inside this chamber. We have two UVC lamps. This is where all the magic happens. The chamber pulls out for easy cleaning and maintenance. This is where all the radicals are made. The air goes through there. Once those radicals are made, we have a 700 CFM fan that shoots those out on both sides. We made sure we have a 25 foot power cord for easy access to plug it in. It only draws five amps, so we added two GFCI outlets. You can control how many lamps are running. You can control the fan speed, hour meter, so you know how long it's been running. This is also stackable. And then of course it's 65 pounds, but we did make it so you can stand it up. Detachable handle makes it easy for transport with the wheels and the handle. So Tom, you moved that around like it was pretty easy. You said 65 pounds. 65 pounds. Maybe you're just a strong guy. Uh, maybe, <laughs> but the wheels and handle certainly helps move it around. I would not want to carry it. I don't care how strong you are, that can get heavy. Now this machine can work vertically or horizontally. It's whatever choice the, uh, the client wants. So Tom, are there other innovations like this on the market? Are you the only one? We're the first one out here with a hydroxyl radical generator that the hydroxyls exit the machine to eliminate odors out of the structure and contents where the odors have been absorbed, combined with the HEPA filtration to capture the particulates, fan built in, all the cool features. We're the first one out. Obviously, the innovative judges liked it uh, to give us that award. And what we're seeing now happening is kind of, it's exciting to see the impact we're having on everyone. So who really benefits from this? In the ISSA industry, it's the facility managers, the property managers, but it's really the, what we learned a lot is there are other industries where odor is something that these guys deal with every day. The hotels, the assisted living facilities, gyms and locker rooms, storage facilities, trash rooms. We're learning so much that where these guys are like, hey, we've got this odor problem, can it do this? And uh, so it's, it's really solving a lot of problems. So that's what makes us so exciting. So for those that are interested in the science behind this, are there more details to share on that? Yeah, so the science, the, the, the filtration is pretty straightforward. Everybody knows how a filter works. But the way the hydroxyl radical works is we have two different UV wavelengths inside the machine. So as the air goes through, it produces ozone, it breaks down ozone using the two different wavelengths. And in that process is where the radicals, the hydroxyl radicals, oxyperoxy radicals are formed. They exit the machine. The number one way that they break down the odors, because like I said, they don't mask them, filter them, cover them up, no spray, no chemicals. It's a gas, you can't see it. They latch onto those odor molecules and they break them apart. It's hydrogen abstraction. They steal a hydrogen atom from what they're breaking down. Permanent elimination. The smell won't ever come back. Uh, it, and it works, it, that's what makes it work so well. So how many units does a company or facility need? Is there a calculation for that? 
it really, really depends on, on what they're dealing with, how often they're dealing with, how big the facility is. Typically in the disaster restoration industry, we use the coverage area of 1,500 to 2,000 square feet with ceiling height up to about 20 feet. If you're in like a big you know, place like this, 50 foot ceilings, maybe scale more towards 1,000 to 1,500 square feet. Uh, however, it's always important to keep in mind the air coming out of the machine is where all the magic is. That has to get to the areas that have absorbed those odors. And of course, we're making a certain number of hydroxyls. The smaller the room this machine's in, the higher the concentration, the faster it's gonna work. The bigger the room, the longer it takes. And of course, sizes and everything because what's in that room is a real issue. Uh, for example, we've done a marijuana grow house up in Pennsylvania, 1,500 square feet. But it is extremely powerful odor. It took two machines to knock out the odor. So it just all depends on the application. But that's what we're here to help with. If anybody has questions, we can kind of size it up correctly. But the end result is it worked. It works. At the end of the day, it will work. Used properly, the right number of machines, all that. And that's where we can help out with it. It is pretty simple, though. I mean, you plug it in, you turn it on. So, Tom, when you think about challenges in the industry or challenges people have, what else does this do? So that's what's exciting as well about the UVC that we're using. We had some pretty powerful, very well-educated UV consultants from Europe and all around the world help us with this. Uh, it actually inactivates pathogens as well. So the bacteria, the viruses, and it's airborne. So that's important to understand the airborne pathogens and the air coming through the machine that can inactivate those pathogens. And that's a big deal because obviously, especially everyone learned after COVID, airborne pathogens can be a real concern and that affects all sorts of businesses you know, in, in various different industries. So that's an added benefit. And some people actually get the machine just for that purpose. So this is new to ISSA, but not a new innovation. People want to learn more, where can they get that information? So you can check us out at airbotics.com, A-I-R-B-O-T-X.com. Call us, email us, contact information's all on there, or follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, the social media. We love being in that presence as well. We've got an email list you can sign up for and get our updates that we send out about once a month.